a new dawn breaks in the Ai Ai Richterswelt, Trans Frontier Park, spanning across the South African and Namibian border. Here the mighty Orange River snakes through the centre of the park, creating a green oasis that is in stark contrast to the surrounding desert landscape. And when it rains, the Nama people of this region sings in their mother tongue, Thank you, Lord. I honor thee. Puddles of water remains only for a short while as the land takes a welcome break from the daily torturing of the sun. But within a few days, it is dried out by the extreme temperatures and the dreaded easterly wind. The wind can cause havoc by further drying out the land and blowing away valuable topsoil. This is the town of Kubus, one of the first permanent settlements in the Richtersveld. The town grew around a Rhenish mission set up by Reverend Johann Hein, who ministered the nomadic Nama pastoralist in the early 1800s. Here is about 980 Nama descendants in no more than 220 households, with more than 75% of households living below the poverty line. Livestock plays a central role in Nama culture. Settled within the Richtersveld Community Conservancy, this village has a contractual agreement with the South African National Parks and have access to the natural resources within the Richtersveld National Park. This allows for the persistence of the transhuman pastoral lifestyle to some of the Kubos livestock owners within the park. Sunpax is working with the Rockies Institute and the Agricultural Research Council to conduct a research on the climate change impacts on communities in um, Kubus. Uh, the focus of the project is on indigenous communities and promoting indigenous knowledge around climate change adaptation. The goal of the project, obviously, is to equip communities with tools to, so that they are able to implement adaptation uh, actions themselves. The process is led by Dr. Ephraim Samo in terms of training of the community members as well as students from the University of Western Cape. And we've so far conducted a questionnaire survey as well as uh, focus groups on some of the stakeholders uh, around the Rechtersfeld World Heritage Site. The, I remember the sections in the um, questionnaire, which was the exposure of the household. We, wanted to, we also wanted to know how many people are in the household and then the sensitivity to the, of the people to the, in the household and also um, how they adapt to, how they adapt to the climate, climate changing. And then in that state, last section we said adaptation, they, we spoke about human capital, um, financial capital and social capital. Concurrent to the research project, a water harvesting project was run at the local primary school to honor the request from the community in the first meeting in 2017. 
Crowd funds raised by the Rockies Institute for this purpose was used to install four 10,000 litre water tanks and the replacement of the gutter system to capture store water for the school that often has to close because of a lack of water. This project was a new experience to the young UWC students and their Kubus team members, and they certainly learned a lot over the three weeks. And yeah, the project was so amazing because it allowed me to see that people like, are aware of what's happening around them. It's, they are aware of the fact that it's because of the drought, it's because of desertification, that everything is just, the prices are going up and they have less to eat. And even though they have less to eat, they stay hopeful, stay faithful. Um, so what I'll take away from that is like, like always be hopeful here. Yeah. I guess, and um, yeah, just in whatever circumstance, I could always see that these people, you find a way, you find a way to survive, you don't just sit down and fade away, so yeah, that's what I think. Ik zelf is een nama en ik heb daar klomp goed wat ik hier geken het, wat ik geleerd heb bij die mensen, niet wel goed. En ik weet niet van die topie klimaat voor anderen gaan niet meer. Toen ze in die tank gegaan het, het het al meer interessant voor mij geraakt en lekker. En ik het het baie geniet, ik weet ze kon nog langer aangaan. It's the people who make their living from natural resources are the most affected by climate change. So not only the people in the Markland, people in Canada, in America, in Europe, in South America, all those who live sort of close to nature are very much affected by climate change. So we are hoping that what we would learn in the Markland, specifically in Kubus, that the greater Richtersfeld, the greater Namakoland and the greater South Africa could learn how local communities who are living so sort of close to nature that how they can adapt to, to climate change. So we'd like to have the lessons that we would learn through this project, we'd like to be taken up by others. The most important thing is the world. And the effect can be felt by us. I can see it myself. And the first thing for me is to feel the nagevolge of other people's data. Maar ons goed maar net meneer ik krijg een maand te pas. En die op die in de afvalsing wat hij dagelijks hier gedoen wordt, geloof ik dat ons andere manieren ook kan krijgen een maand te pas. I'd like to thank the the Kubus community for sharing with us their views on climate risk and imparting upon us their indigenous knowledge about how to deal with those risks. I'd like to thank the students from the University of the Western Cape who've been fabulous in, in helping us talk to the community and surveying them and really getting to understand the community. I'd like to thank the Rockies Institute for organizing and funding this research. And of course, I'd like to thank the South African National Parks and the South African Agricultural Research Council for their support of this research.